Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Open RA. It's been a while that we have returned, looking to expand our repertoire of RTS. The good thing about us doing now five videos a week is that we now sort of have the, the time to do these what do you call them? The uh, miscellaneous miscell videos? Yes, yeah. miscell miscellaneous casts. Uh, as opposed to before when it was one or two videos a week, we sort of had to only do Ko and Zero Hour, otherwise the fanboys get mad. Yeah. And now we can just cast whatever we want. Which is cool. It's nice to, to add a few different videos in. Um, certainly enjoying the new schedule. Um, I think it, it it's very cool that we get to cast so many games and people are open to us casting lots of different games as well. Like. How many shoutcasters do you know that cast more than like one game? Oh, exactly. Or, like, two yeah. games. Um, and we cast what? Like, we probably cast like, it's going to end up being like eight something games, like consistently. Or yeah. And if they cast games. two games, one of them is Counter Strike. Yeah. It, it, it's always a, oh, I'm a Dota caster and a Counter Strike caster, or StarCraft and Counter Strike, or, or what be it. So today we have a match between two players. Five aces is spawning the bottom left as our German. His opponent will be Eskimo. Spotting in the top right as our Ukraine. So shout out to Five Aces, he's the man that hooked me up with not only the replays, but also the spectator client. This is a not yet public build and it has the production tabs and all the other combat economy tabs like StarCraft, so it's really cool being able to... Uh, oops. Um, they're looking for, sorry, Fog of War. Which one were you looking for? Fog so? Fog of War. Too, too many tabs. Oh no, here it is. Too yeah, many it's tabs like for Kalim. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, do you want Fog of War off? You think yeah, it's better? Yeah, I think on. I think on. on Fog of War okay. on. Yeah, I think that, that it's better for the game. So. Yeah. Probably it gets the later stages, maybe not. But I think it, it, it looks. It's one of those games because it has revealed map that looks probably better. Yeah, with, that's um, true. With with Fog of War off, which is cool. So, um, edge caps going down. Uh, pretty standard stuff so far. Uh, I think a slightly faster APC for Eskimo. Unfortunately, they're not going to run into any infantry just yet. Um, and the counter already out from, from five bases as well. So I think super interesting. Yeah, so a lot of oil caps here. We see all of the old directs will be captured, which we do like seeing. Uncaptured oil is, uh, is always upsetting. The stuff of woes... And uh, I think that's an engineer inside of the APC, so I'm a bit confused why he's going... Oh, is that a mine layer or is it an APC? I, can't, I don't even know, dude. I thought it was an APC. Oh, yeah, it's it an, an APC. APC. Yeah, I'm just curious about why he wouldn't go for the old Derek if that's an engineer. Because if it's a regular... Maybe he's trying to Captain Eye? Yeah, because that's an NG snipe. Is he going to get it? Did he get the NG? No. So that's like, a medic that's, that's Is that a medic yeah. or yeah? Okay. He has his little bag. The engineer already capped it. Right, oh, the engineer's at the top, yeah. Oh, it's a red little icon, isn't it, for the engineer? Like a little, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. And uh, isn't regular infantry green? Or well, maybe regular infantry is yellow. Okay, I guess we'll find out if we see him evacuate. Um, but a lot of refineries here for both of our players. That's, that's how you play this. And really, most of the, of the Tiberian games, you know, Red Alert 2, Command & Conquer 3, you just throw down lots and lots of ore refineries. Jeez. Fairly stock standard and... So building a few units at the moment. You can see a man Eskimo mining out quite fast. The same with five aces. Soon they will have to pack up and move on to greener pastures or at least pastures with more cash for them to collect. I gotta say, this is pretty imbalanced for five aces. His infantry actually camouflage into the grass. So perhaps Eskimo's infantry have a 50% mischance because they just can't acquire the enemies. Even the trees as well, it's even better camo, but. Mm. I'm also a little bit tilted because the hotkeys for changing the scenes is not the same as StarCraft. <laughs> it's, it's D for production right. in StarCraft. Here it, it's it's C, it, it, it's Z, X, C, V, B. Okay. With StarCraft, so you, you, it's, you it's, just it's, triggered the, it's the first the letter, or like it's a primary letter. So it's D for production, but then I income. It's I guess it's not very intuitive, but it's, it's what I know, and it's. I mean, you're you're pretty much next level if you're if you're playing games around like picking colors. It's like that's that, that's the next <laughs> level thing. Like I know in in other games that's totally a thing. Like League of Legends, for example, because you see um, like the enemy teams like skins for their champions. There are some skins that aren't like the VX isn't as obvious for some things, or like it blends uh, in wow. better. So like they they intentionally get played 
Um, I think there's actually oh, okay. a couple of skins that are even banned in competitive play wow. because like the v VFX is like it, it's too hard to tell what, we, what abilities are or they blend in too well. Is then really bad design in the part yeah. of right? Yeah. So it is actually engineer the whole time is going to be capping away the old Derek, and the engineers they they don't die when they capture, which is what they used to do originally. So you can capture multiple old Derricks. The uh, the flip side being they capture quite slowly, but we see a pretty big army here on the side of five aces, but. It is actually Eskimo who's going for the man spam. He's got five barracks, which is yeah. a lot of dudes. He's in a good position, and it's uh, it's flame time oh, on this wow. side. Oh, that's not going to be fun at all for five aces. They're eventually going to take down um, the tower, but at the cost of um, several infantry squads. Why didn't even take it out? The snipe fails. Uh, five aces could be in some pretty serious trouble here, but he's getting collapsed on this man spam's coming in. At the very least, he's going to lose some of this forward production. He just put another one, and he's got yeah. another flame turret already on queue, so... You're not very cost-efficient attacking flame turrets with nothing but infantry. Yeah. Let's have a look at the old derricks, because whoever holds those is pretty important. Looks like, overall, it's five... Five aces only has one left, so he's actually behind now. Having that middle one just being blown up there by Eskimo. Yeah, finding the... the obviously finding the decapture down the bottom right, though, is nice. Um... I feel like Eskimo could have pushed an advantage there and decided not to. Oh, by the way, on the flip side, Eskimo's units camouflaged into the ore, so I suppose it's ah, actually fair. Ah, there you the go. End. Yeah, it's all fair. Very, very. All's fair in color selection, RA. I also like these these units here just for scouting. Has a bit of vision there with the lone rifleman. Dude, we have additional casters. Grass, yeah, the the analysis happy, guys. So yeah. Full, full on analysis casters, I love it. So, Eskimo has a lot more map control. He's got three construction yards, currently mining from the, the top left, and I'm assuming soon to be the middle here as well. Five aces, not quite as spread out, but he does have this forward base here with two refineries already set up. Mobile flax starting to roll in now. Airfield gets thrown down for Eskimo. He's in a pretty good position. Is to use the army advantage to get some double, triple prog yeah, attacks. I, I Dude, agree. I'm loving this analysis. That's, That's what, what I was going to say. Yeah, it, Look at this. He's actually drops off some rocket soldiers there from the ranger. Maybe he just walked there, but it does take an ore refinery out. Good little harassment there. Yeah, really nice. Um, very effective. The problem is just like, how far ahead are you? You can just never tell sometimes how far ahead you actually are. Oh, wow. The, yeah, the arty very effective versus infantry when they're clumped up like that. Well, actually, Tank Crush is going to be coming in now as well. Eventually, they're going to be sniped down, but I'm pretty sure this engagement is going to go in the favor of Five Aces. Trades it out quite nicely. His infantry are just running past, though. Right, here we go. That wasn't particularly well played, I suppose, yeah. but in the end, it's still a very effective trade there. The Arty killing a lot of the infantry. Yeah, and all the, the flax got taken down by um, by Five Aces, Aces tanks as well, so it was really well timed, as well as them rolling in to look for crushers, so that was cool. Okay, we have the Heinz. No anti-air on this, this forward base, so it could snipe down the refinery. No, just the flames. I don't know what else is ready at the moment. Um, several support powers now available for Eskimo, which means he's thrown down insert tech structure name here. <laughs> um, <laughs> tech lab, yeah. perhaps? Yeah, I mean, something of the nature. Eskimo. So. I don't know, it's a tech lab. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what unlocks these. I like how we can see the names of them though, so we know what they're actually called. The, the font's very small though. Paratroopers and... Power... I, I didn't check what resolution this is. This is probably running at 1440p, which I'm sure OpenRA is not designed for. Uh, I think if we can tell the difference small. between rocket infantry and rifle infantry, we're going pretty yeah. well. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, Heli Harassment uh, is the name of the game here for, for five aces. Goes pretty aggressive. I'm surprised he didn't actually go for the, the flame towers, take those out and open open things up to, to aggression, but mobile flax in there, so I guess that's fair. We blocked the construction yard, mm. so can't build anything more there, can't build any more defences, but still, he is mining off of triple ore refineries, uh, triple harvesters, yeah. or trucks, so perhaps going for the refinery instead would have been the better choice. Yeah, definitely could have been. Didn't actually need to build anything on that, that forward position. Chrono tank. Um, yeah, bigger engagement down the bottom. Again, a lot of these flags are going to be sniped down 
fairly early, but the Inbreedy advantage certainly lies with Eskimo in this engagement this time, which is a, a bit of a switch up. We now see five aces going in for some crushes, APC blocks coming in, and that will be the majority of the tanks going down, plenty of rocket infantry available for Eskimo to uh, DPS down those tanks before we can see any crushes, so that was cool. <laughs> Yeah, the, the spectators sharing my frustration very late with the arty snipe from the yak So he did lose a bit more than he needed to but still has a pretty big army to his name and Continues to get the stranglehold on five aces. How much anti-air is there though? Uh, there's one right. Not very much Let's it down. I don't think very much There's not much anti-air here I don't even know what the chrono tanks are. Wow, the chrono tanks, oh my god. They fire these big rockets that do splash damage. Oh no, maybe it was the Artie that actually splash damage. Are the chrono tanks, are they anti tank? Um, it looks like it, so they yeah. look pretty bad here. Still it works out nicely in the favor of five aces, using that one. Spy plane's ready for him as well. Spy plane's always a nice spot to get into, get a bit of forward vision. Find out where you are in terms of tech, in terms of army versus army. Information is very important. Well, this power is quite exposed. Yeah, it could definitely be sniped. That would be an issue. Three of these advanced power plants. I don't know why they're facing out so much like that. Perhaps building them in his base would be better. Tech lab also here as well. Or tech center. Let's give, and give him the, the chrono shift. The Axe, can they shoot at the Hinds? Uh, uh, I think you're testing my game I'm, I'm asking the wrong guy, bit. am I? Okay. Yeah, so, I suppose we'll find out. Oh, those rocket troops would shoot him down. Yeah, yeah that, was a, that was a solid avoiding of the uh, engagement. So the spy plane actually went over. I don't know where to. Hinds certainly still a threat. Lots of vision as well, which is nice with those air units. Most of the vision quite important. So these chrono, chrono out. they could they could do some nasty harassment. If you use a spy plane, gets vision in perhaps yeah. the, the main base and then sends all these chrono tanks in. That's actually the Iron Curtain. It will take about two minutes though. Oh wow, Yak's actually gunning down these chrono tanks. Yeah, going pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it pulls them out, gets a flak anti-air. Pretty good. Okay. Wow. Wow. The insta pop. That's nasty. <laughs> that's pretty brutal. I guess at the same time the hinds are getting cleared up on the top side of this. So. Man, I love those explosion sounds. They're just so over the top. Yeah, that, 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 that was some nasty kills. So hinds go down at the same time with the yaks. It's cool. Plenty of chrono tanks on the field. I know there's like an overinvestment in these flame towers. Like, it's just, there's just no inventory on the field anymore. I guess they don't cost much. Yeah, it's true, but. Um, Mammoth's actually in the production tab here for, for Eskimo. I guess they do pretty well against the, the Chrono Tanks. Why would he be building them? So that makes sense. Oh, I love this double old Eric Snipe from both of our players. We do have the Chrono Shift ready, as are the Power Troopers and the Power Bombs. 35 seconds on the Iron Curtain. So maybe it's like Iron Curtain Mammoths, bro. Yeah, that sounds pretty strong. Okay, the Hinds, very delicate. They're not trying to commit to, to the rocket troops. Yeah. There's even the flak ant here as well, so they can't engage with this army. Yeah, not at all. This army is actually very dangerous, and the Chrono takes are way out of position. I don't think that I can actually get over in time. We have to remember the power is very exposed, so the flaks are still pushing in. I don't know what this infantry is doing. It's just chilling. We actually see... The retreat from Eskimo, that seems like a weird play. Do the Chrono Tanks go the entire map with the teleport? Yeah, oh, again, testing Asking my game knowledge here okay. a bit. Asking the wrong guy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we don't Of all the more. games of, like, open RA I've played, it's, like, pretty limited, so I well, hopefully we'll find out, so. Perhaps the, the, the bar... Uh, no, okay, that, that, I think the bar is... The rain, there's like a certain right. energy you yeah. can go, or or it's a cooldown. Yeah, but looks I like mean, the range. If it was the whole map, that'd be kind of yeah, it'd be pretty stupid, broken. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, the pillbox there. Yeah. Yeah. We had a couple of them going down. Several pillboxes. Yeah, that's a spy plane. Maybe that's what 
Maybe that's what uh, Eskimo's worried about, like banked pillboxes, and so he didn't really want to push him with the infantry. Oh, that's power bombs. It can take out all the chrono oh, tanks. Oh, nasty! Okay, he teleports out though with the chrono. I suppose it's uh, uh, a little bit ambitious trying to land a, a you know bombs on a chrono tank. Yeah, I mean, didn't really distract with anything. So that was a that was a good reaction, I have to say, from um, from, from five aces. That wasn't an easy read. Um, going for that would have just seen it and had to, to teleport out. So maybe being ready for it was cool. So this this is the Iron Curtain. Going for the tech center. There's, there's infantry inside of this. Trying to snipe oh, down all the wow. pill boxes, but actually a lot of stuff's getting sniped. They're all flamethrowers. Yeah. So they're very good versus buildings. And I think that was a chrono shift. But I like that. It takes out the conyard, takes out the tech center. All these pill boxes going down. That kind of opens up some infantry harassment as well. Also going for the refinery. Ooh. Um, but that, that area is pretty much mined out. This Artie, the hero of the people, oh. taking out all the infantry. Yeah. Chrono tanks there, still alive. There's some V3s. Oh, this oh wow, the V2s, rather. Yeah, this, this these V2s are so exposed, though. I can't believe that they're still alive, honestly. I love that. He, he teleported to avoid the V2 shots. That was so sick. Yeah, that's pretty but sick. can he do it again? I don't know, maybe not. He probably doesn't want to jump in because of the Tesla. Or it's like, it's just not worth. Yeah, I like that, yeah, yeah. because now there's a Tesla coil blocking mm. off the V2, so the Chronos can't just go in deep. This game's getting intense. So the majority of, of Eskimo's army was actually taken out during that engagement, used it in order to snipe the tech oh, center, what? which has gone down. <laughs> he stole a mammoth tank so that the, uh, the mechanics can restore wounded or destroyed vehicles, but not when they're within range of Tesla coils, unfortunately. No, it's not recommended. Still a really good position to be set up in. Oh, that is. Oh, that's a power drop. Yeah. What? I have no idea what that was. I don't was. know what they're doing. Bruce, that was paratroopers. Hello? Well, it's, it's green, though. It's just, it's just yellow because of the veterancy. Right. Oh, okay, right. Okay, maybe not. Must mean something else. The, the veterancy bar is, is, is actually yeah. the same size as the, the, the unit. Hmm. Tesla coil is still a problem. Oh, not for long. Uh-oh. Wow, the V2 Lines are here. blow up the tech center. Again, a very oh. exposed tech center. I don't know what's with this. Yeah, I don't really get it. Is there uh, is some secret advantage or like you get swag points for putting it that far forward? Okay, it looks like they're going to jump on the Tesla wow. coil right on top of it. That's a full commitment. Well, the V2 rocket did go through it. He actually I uses... Can. Yeah, Iron Curtain on the tech center. That's crazy. And on the mammoth tank. So the mammoth tank just like rolling ah. in the ground and it's like, run right away! Before we get jumped on, thankfully, you know, the energy's back up. They will be able to run for it. Um, that was actually a really smart play with the, the mammoth and stuff, but that's good to know. There was also some demo ability, I think, yeah. which didn't do anything, yeah. as everyone was pointing out. So, man, the chrono tanks open up so much micro potential. You can dodge the V2s, yeah. you can dodge all kinds of bombs, and you just collapse upon that Tesla coil. That was, uh, that was a nice game. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this open RA. We do have more games to cast, so you, there'll be more on the channel. Depending on when this when this game is casted, if this is the third one casted, then it may be a while. But who knows? Um, posted rather. So yeah, let us know if you enjoyed this one and if you want to see more open RA and what other R other RTS games you'd like to see.